Hello, I'm Chris, and welcome to Earth Juice, your weekly glug of breakthroughs and discoveries from all over the natural world. Each week, we'll bring you the best stories that we think make the world a much more interesting place, squeezing them into impressives, just for you. So, juicing this week. How could a black mamba cure your headache? A mouse that literally jumps out of its skin, and the curious case of the bees and their blue honey. Let's juice. First up from Africa, surprising news from the reptile world. The black mamba is one of the world's most deadly snakes. Known as the kiss of death, a bite from this snake could kill you within 30 minutes. Luckily, brave French researchers from the Institute of Molecular and Cellular Pharmacology near Nice have been taking a closer look at this snake's venom and have discovered some surprising attributes. The venom, a lethal mixture of highly potent neurotoxins, also contains a powerful painkiller which, when tested on mice, was as powerful as morphine but without many of the side effects. The painkilling part of the venom consists of peptides, which is a kind of acid to you or me, and which boffins have dubbed mamblegins. Which is, you know, mam mamblegins, it's kind of clever but not that great. Anyway, the scientists are baffled as to why the snake's venom would also contain pain relief. Perhaps those nice mammas just want you to be comfortable as they kill you. Scientists are hoping that this discovery could open up new avenues for pain relief in humans, but more research is needed before you can pop into your local chemist and ask for some mambacetamol. See, I did it too, but I, I think a little bit better. Anyway, from all of us here at Earth Juice, thank you mambas. Now, staying in Africa, but moving to the bizarre world of the spiny mouse. Now, if you're a snake, maybe even one of those mambas we've just seen, you would quite happily dislocate your venomous jaws, wrap them around this little mouse, and have it for lunch. But these guys have a nifty trick to escape the mouths of any would-be predators. Now, you've probably heard of lizards shedding their tails as a means of escape when they're attacked, but this little mouse goes one step further. It literally jumps out of its skin. Rodent fan and biologist Ashley Seifer from the University of Florida observed this strange ability after studying Kemp's and Percival's spiny mouse in Africa. I've got no idea who Kemp and Percival are either. It appears that their skin is more brittle than that of other mice and could come off in clumps when pulled. They're able to shed about 60% of the outer layer of the skin from their backs and the lost skin and the spiny hairs regrow in about 30 days. Scientists are now investigating how the mice do this in the hope that it could have implications for repairing human skin in the future. So for young, healthy looking skin, maybe not quite like that, look no further than the African spiny mouse. Finally on Earth Juice, curious goings on have been reported by confused beekeepers in France. Gallic apiaris and Alsace were abuzz when they discovered that their bees had been producing honey in an altogether new hue. Now, bees have been producing honey in a range of colours for thousands of years, from light yellow to deep gold and even black, but never until now blue. Yes, that's right, blue honey. The farmers did a lot of head scratching, but they still couldn't figure out where their precious honey had gone libre. Had the bees discovered a new blue pollen plant? No. Had they got bored and started to think outside the box, or even the hive? Uh-uh. It turned out that the coloured sugary waste which had been used to make the coatings of M&Ms had been left outside a nearby food reprocessing plant. And the clever bees, always looking for new sources of sugar, had been helping themselves to it for days, resulting in their honey turning the same colour as the sweets. And, I mean, you can't blame them. The, the blue ones are really quite good. And the brown ones are pretty tasty too. Anyway, rather than the colour of their honey, the farmers are now seeing red, as unfortunately they can't sell any of their produce. There's only one word to sum up this whole sticky mess. Sacre bleu. So that's Earth Juice. Those are the things that we think make your planet a better place. If you like what we're doing, give us a like, or even better, subscribe. And if you've got any juicy Earth discoveries you'd like to share, tell us about them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Thank <laughs> you.